Mm. Do you know, this is one of my favorite smoothies ever and it's so easy to make and perfect for after you've exercised like I've done this morning. Sorry, hello, I haven't said hello properly, but we had a really nice dinner last night. We had a roasted tomato, garlic, onion, pasta dish, which was really simple and really delicious. Those are my favourite kind of recipes, which you may have seen on Instagram or on my blog already, but if not, I will leave that journal entry with the recipe linked down below so that you can try it yourself. It was so tasty. And then I've started this Monday morning by doing some work, doing some editing, and I've just been to the gym and now having a smoothie before I have my lunch. I'm just trying to be quite good at staying on top of a healthy, balanced day, not too much work, not too much play. <laughs> that was a rhyme. <laughs> So today and probably over the next couple of days, I'm going to be having another big sort out in the cottage. Again, kind of making way for the new season ahead, which is my favourite, as I'm sure lots of you will already know. And again, there'll probably be lots of pieces in this video that I'd like to rehome to you. So as with the last one, if you comment below and let me know which of them you're interested in, at random, I'll be choosing a few people. It was honestly so nice last time knowing that those pieces went to a good home and to people who really, really wanted them. I've been sent photos of some of those pieces already in your homes and yeah, it means a lot to me to know that those pieces that I've loved and I chose because I loved can now be loved by someone else. I also wanted to just ask all of you how you're doing, how's everyone getting on? I know that being on social media and on YouTube in particular, it can feel sometimes quite one-sided, like I'm just talking at everyone here who's watching, but I want there to be a sense of community and I hope that you feel that from me. And if you have something you wanna talk about with me as a viewer of my channel, then I would love for you to comment down below or message me on Instagram. I know there's not kind of a space to message one-on-one -on -one privately on YouTube, but I'd actually love that if there was. Maybe there is and I'm missing that. I don't know. But yeah, how's your day been? Are you enjoying the summer? Are you on summer holidays with children? Or yeah, what have you been up to? I know that I yeah, talk a lot about myself, so we'd love to hear what you have been up to as well. It's actually been really sunny here, which has been a nice surprise. And the weekend was really lovely and then we woke up this morning and it was very grey but the clouds seem to have moved and the sun has come out ready for a day of cleaning the cottage. <laughs> just started with tidying up these shelves in the corner of the kitchen that always get quite a lot of love online but for me have just been feeling so cluttered and with things that we don't actually use that often like I don't know about you but I'm a cereal mug collector and I historically only use maybe two or three of those mugs so what I've done is really stripped back the collection and I, I love these mugs from Cohen & Co and then also the ones that I had made that say our names on. Other than that, I'm going to keep these few until I can kind of find a set of four that I really love that are handmade from maybe a small business or yeah, I'm going to do a bit of research and try and find something that I really love. And the same with the water glasses. I have some that they don't inspire me anymore. I don't love them. I just don't feel that good about them and they were from a time when, so some of the glasses in particular, they were from Neptune when I worked there and I just don't 
they don't bring joy to me anymore. They don't make me happy. So I think it's probably best to rehome those and the jug. Again, I'll do a little section later where I mention everything that I'm gonna be giving away. But yeah, just having a bit of a clear out. Same with tea towels. I think this kind of setup isn't really working anymore. It works well for my apron and this, which I need a new duster. I've had this for years. But yeah, with the tea towels, it kind of just becomes a holding space. So I'm gonna rethink that slightly as well. literally midway through decluttering and I've had a delivery arrive so I thought I would unbox it with you. So I know what these are and these are some wall lights that I've ordered for our living and dining room. I really just wanted to bring a little bit more warmth to the space with the autumn coming up and so I'm going to be doing the wall light hack that I know a lot of people do now which I first did a couple of years ago actually and it's a really great way to not have to wire the walls but to be able to use kind of your favorite wall lights that you see from a brand you love so I'm really really excited to get them up on the wall and I went for these lovely ones from Corston I will leave them linked down below and they've got a really pale light shade and then a lovely gold brass base as well I actually ordered three of those, like I mentioned, so I will actually put those up probably in one of my next episodes of The Cottage Diaries because I want to kind of remove some of the clutter before I start adding new things that I really want in the space up. honesty I completely do not remember where I got to in sorting out and catching you up on what I was doing but I am ready to kind of go through the pieces that I'd like to rehome so again I will only be giving them to people that follow or subscribe to my YouTube channel as a thank you for kind of being there and supporting me and if you just comment below the piece you'd like if I reply to you then I will kind of discuss things maybe over Instagram or give you a number that I can kind of communicate with you through but yeah we'll either arrange delivery or kind of meet somewhere if you are local ideally if anyone's local that would be great I'm kind of Bath or Bristol are the places I am the most but yeah that would be ideal but I'll run through the things and if there's anything you like I'll obviously clean everything up so if it looks a little bit messy then it will be clean. <laughs> the first thing is this terracotta pot. This is from Zara and I actually really love this and when I found it I was like oh amazing I'm gonna put some flowers out but I actually have other terracotta pots and I don't need another one so I think this is one that I'm gonna be rehoming. It's really really aged looking. I'm actually doing this in really bad lighting but it's the room where I sorted out and I don't want to set up somewhere else. So I'm going to carry on doing it here if you don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice. And oh, hello. If you would like the Zara terracotta pot, please let me know. I've got four of, I'm fairly certain, four of these Neptune mugs. Again, like with the Neptune glasses earlier, they just don't spark that much joy for me anymore. So these are the Lulworth mugs if you would like these to be rehomed they should be fairly easy to post so yeah please do let me know in the comments below a couple of other mugs again just a shape that I don't use that often because I have others so yeah they're just very simple in like a pale blue color they were from a nice maybe small business in Bath so yeah happy to rehome those they've got like a nice aged look to them 
We've got a couple of really nice handleless mugs, which are great for hot chocolates. These are Hotel Chocolat mugs, which we did use with our Velvetizer, but I think we'll just use our other mugs anyway going forward. We probably won't use these ones, so if they could go to a better home, or maybe you have some of these already and just want another pair, they're really lovely ceramic mugs that have only been used kind of once or twice. That's actually just got me so excited for getting our Velvetizer out. That is like the best thing. <laughs> Next thing I have is this small kind of crackle pot. I'm not sure how well you'll see this, so maybe I'll overlay everything with some better footage, but it's a small crackle garden pot, which could be used in the kitchen for a herb. It's just really simple. It wasn't ridiculously expensive, but it's got a really nice kind of texture to it that would probably look great in a lot of spaces. So yeah, let me know if you'd like that crackle pot. Neptune apron is in an olive colour. Again, I think this was used a couple of times, but not very often, maybe just for some work things when I worked for Neptune. Um, but yeah, no, not, not really that used. It might have a few little marks on, but obviously when you're cooking, um, things would get marked. So if you'd like that, I can easily post that apron to someone. So let me know in the comments. This one needs a little bit of a clean. It's got some soot around, but it's a white company. It was 25 pounds. They probably still sell it, but a white company candle holder. Again, it's been sat in the cupboard for over two years. I don't think I had it out since. Christmas or autumn winter 2021 so I just hate feeling like it's just sat in the cupboard collecting dust we obviously have a small house so I just don't want to keep storing things that we're not using so if anyone would like that then please let me know I don't have a clue where this is from but it's a candle holder which is really nice it's got some wax in but that could be taken out or just left in and it's just really simple white ceramic again should be relatively easy to either group with something else or just send in the post. So let me know if that would be good for your kind of dining table or a console table, but I have about 50 of these, so I don't think I need that one. I think that's everything that I have for now. So some mugs, vase, a pot, an apron, and a candle holder, but I will probably find some other stuff over the next couple of weeks as and when I'm tidying and decluttering but it feels so good to be clearing away some of the stuff that we just don't use anymore and I really would hate for anyone to think that this is me being wasteful or being kind of ungrateful for the things I have because it's not that at all it's almost the complete opposite that I really want to celebrate everything we have and use everything and enjoy it and if not then I think somebody else should be enjoying that and I mean, financially, I'm sure I could sell some of those things and make like the odd 10 pounds, five pounds, but I appreciate that so much of me being able to be here is thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel and watches along. So if I can give back, then yeah, that is definitely what I wanna do. And I'll be doing this, like I said, more and more. So every few kind of cottage diaries, I'm sure there'll be different things to be given away so make sure you keep watching them and I will make sure I rehome only nice things that hopefully people would want. I'm not going to do things that I don't love or haven't loved because that wouldn't feel very genuine. Anyway, I am going to carry on with the vlog. enjoyed looking through some books for 40 minutes or so so 
March and have found so much inspiration for autumn and this is something I'll often do when I'm decluttering the cottage and kind of evolving style wise is I'll sit down and I'll just flick through some of my favourite books. So here I'm looking through a couple by Ali Heath, Create and Curate. And then I've got this one, The Foraged Home, which I love. And then Amber Lewis's book as well. And I just love kind of flicking through and looking at their past designs or styling projects and reading sections of interviews and feeling really inspired for our cottage, especially with the change of the season. Whenever I do that kind of exercise, I always just jot down a few words as and when I'm flicking through to see kind of the different things that take my interest. I fold pages, just do sort of different things to figure out the style direction that I wanna take. And I really suggest doing the same if you're kind of not sure on your style or maybe where it's going, or you feel like you've been stuck in a bit of a rut of liking just the same thing which maybe you don't even really like anymore. So for me I wrote down some keywords that I think are gonna really carry my style this season and those words were tan, leather, it will either be kind of old leather or vegan leather, sculptural, layered, tonal, hardware, high pigment and birch. So you can already start to get, hopefully just by hearing those words, a bit of a feeling of the colours that I'll be using. So some richer rust and tan colours that you would find in aged natural leathers with lots of kind of hardware accessories. So I was really drawn to brass and glass and really kind of sculptural looking lights and fixtures and all of those kind of things. And then with the birch, I was really drawn to branches and kind of smaller displays of woody looking branches. So I don't really know how that will look or how that will come across, but I am going to create a couple of Pinterest boards now. And I love to kind of from this point go through and start thinking about how that could maybe actually look in our home with our existing pieces and maybe things I already own. So I'm going to create some boards and I will put some examples of those on the screen in a sec for you to see as well. And if you like those and you do want to follow me over on Pinterest for more design inspiration, my name is exactly the same, Toby's Home. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and round off today's episode of The Cottage Diaries. I really hope you enjoyed. And again, if you want to comment down below on any of the pieces you liked, please do. But also know that a lot of people commented last time and I can only choose a few people for those pieces, but I'll make sure that there's kind of different people. They'll be random, but I will make sure that I'm not kind of choosing the same person over and over. So yeah, do keep commenting and I'm sure one of those times you will get picked. So thank you very much for watching. Music